I know I have a video about uh, phoenixing a board already, but I want to go into a little bit more detail. Uh, hopefully, this is it's all the problem with this is a suicide board. There's a battery in these. I just picked this up. It's a Marvel superhero versus Street Fighter. I got it non working on eBay. I'm a guy I know he doesn't really do repairs on boards, he just tests them out if they don't work, and he uh, sells them as non working. I have it plugged into my cabinet here. Basically, got like a bluish greenish tint. Uh, it's usually a sign of uh, a dead battery on the board. There's encrypted codes on these uh, EEPROMs, and uh, when the battery goes dead, it usually ends up killing the board. All right, I'm gonna shut it down now. I'm gonna take the board apart. I'll come back on. You can see what it's like uh, with the shell casing off, and then uh, we'll see if we could get this up and running again. All right, I have my uh, CPS2 board right here. Uh, just the B board. This is what I purchased offline. And it's the one that I believe that the battery is dead in. And the shell casing just covers the board itself. Uh, and to remove the shell casing, there are four screws right here. Uh, sometimes you'll see a Capcom label. And when you remove the label, you'll get the void sticker here. That was something for the warranty back in the day. Obviously, this board's you know 20 years old plus. All right. Sometimes you'll find uh, a bolt here as well. This one didn't have it in there. Uh, but just those four screws, you should be, take, be able to take it off. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to take the kit casing off. It should just pull right apart uh, once you have those four screws out, though. And then we'll see, take a look at the board see what we got. All right. The shell casing's off. You know, you can see the board here. This is actually uh, what the, the B board consists of. This will plug into the A board. Uh, when you do take these apart, uh, be cognizant of these plugs. These plugs go to three of them. Usually they're in the bottom here. Uh, they'll just pop right out once you separate the board. Just make sure you get a hold of those, put those somewhere. Uh, I like putting the screws in there as well, so I don't lose the screws. I'm going to put the board back together. Uh, this looks like it's all original. It should just pop right up. See the original labels on there. Uh, I don't see any damage. Uh, the battery is still on here. Uh, most likely that's the problem. I'm going to end up removing the battery. Uh, once I remove that battery, I gotta look in the main and see what program I need for what chip. What happens is I have to reprogram, I have to erase and reprogram a couple of these chips to Phoenix this board, so the network, so I don't need that battery at all. It'll just be running off the Phoenix program chips. Usually it's uh, two or three chips that have to be done, or EPROMs. Uh, once I get that done, again I'll walk you through it. We'll put it on. We'll see if it boots up. Uh, just one thing you have to be aware of: if uh, you buy a non-working board. Sometimes the batteries, if they go in there, this one was fortunate, it looks like it's still intact. Uh, you'll buy a board and you'll hear something rattling inside. Usually it's because the battery explodes and uh, it has acid damage and it'll start burning all the traces. And usually one, one or two of these uh, chips here, surface mount chips, will have uh, corrosion. All right, so if you, you buy one, it says there's something loose inside. Uh, unless you're an expert at repairing small traces and stuff like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with it. Otherwise, it's a lot of work to repair. Uh, all right, so we'll uh, we'll come back when I find out which ones I need to reprogram, and when I remove the battery, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I have my board here. I have the battery over here still on. First thing I'm going to do is remove this battery, uh, so it doesn't explode and burn some of the traces up with the acid. To remove it, it's very similar to actually when you replace the battery. You flip the board over. You have two pins that the battery is being held on by. And just to remove that, you get yourself a little flux. Put it right on the pin, each pin. I got a cheap little solder iron here. I have a nicer one, but for something like this, the cheap one's easy to break out. All right. Once it's all warmed up, you also have something like this. It removes the solder. Once the solder's heated up, you just press the button, and it'll suck the solder right up. All right. It's heated up. Suck the solder right out. Heat it up. All right. All right. This we're just going to throw the battery out. We're not going to need the battery anymore. You can see the battery just comes right out. All right. Now that we have the battery removed, uh, if you're ever replacing the battery, the same thing. You have about you know half hour or so, 45 minutes. Put the new battery in, solder it back in. But we're just going to throw the battery out. Now that the battery is removed, I looked to see what chips need to be burned. 
uh, and it looks like uh, three, four, and five. All right, the website I like to use, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it here, but it's called uh, Planet. It's uh, planetmu.net, uh, and you go right to Marvel. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. It's a bootleg, uh, bootleg version. It's uh, called the Phoenix Edition. You click on that. And then on the bottom here, it's all. It's a foreign uh, website. It's uh, recommended to me by somebody I respect in the in the field. So yeah, I like to use it. It's something called Telecharge here. You click on that. You open it up. I apologize. You can't see because the screen's so bright. All right, and there are three files here. There's three files or the three chips that I had to remove from the board, which were three, four, and five. Uh, every CPS2 board it could be different. I've I've done a, a the Puzzle Fighter that was only one, one, one EEPROM. All right. Now what I did is I removed the EEPROMs and I peeled the sticker back and I cleaned the window off with a little uh, nail polish remover, uh, just so it gets nice and clean. And I'm just going to erase these with the files that are on there now. Uh, I suggest if you're going to do any kind of programming with um, you know, EEPROMs, is just get yourself a nicer you know, eraser. And some of those cheap, cheap ones, uh, I they work, but it takes a lot longer, and it, it was frustrating for me. I uh, spent a couple bucks for this one, and, it, and I haven't regretted it ever since. I also have the the GQ4X uh, EEPROM programmer. It's been uh, wonderful for me. For this one, you're going to need the 16-bit adapter. I'll show you that later. Uh, but it, it works great for these these set problems. What I'm going to do is going to erase this now. Uh, once they're all erased and I confirm that they're erased, I'll uh, program some new ones, plop it in, and see what we got. So I had no issues with uh, the erasing the three B problems, uh, three, four, and five. I put a little scotch tape back on the label just to cover it back up. Uh, here's the adapter I was talking about. If you get the GQ4X uh, for these. These 16 bit ROMs, you're going to need uh, this adapter. It doesn't come with it. Sometimes you can buy a package deal, but it's it's great. Use it all the time for uh, the larger F ROMs. All right, I'm going to put this one back in here, socket it in. Uh, before I put the case back on, I'm probably just going to try to just put it on without the case and see if it works. But as soon as I get that in, uh, put it on the A board, plug it in, see what we got. Okay, we're here with the B board on top of the A, minus the case, batteries removed, uh, Phoenix version, uh, let's see what we got. It's Phoenix, Phoenix edition. So Are you ready, true believers? Capcom and Marvel have joined forces once again to bring you Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter! What spectacular action! Don't miss out on the enjoyment of the fight time! Face the crew! Don't miss them! Welcome to, welcome to the adventure! Choose your alter ego! Good. Right, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot me a message. But uh, another board brought back from the dead.